Okay, so um, McPherson Sable, we're gonna do a full review on it. But before we do that, I wanna kinda get the right strings on it. So it came with um, Elixir Nano Webs, and I can't stand them for two reasons. They feel slimy, number one. And number two, I got this guitar yesterday at like 12.30, and by eight o'clock last night, it was fuzzy. Like the strings were fuzzy, the coating was like weird, and I just don't like them. So, and I, I know a lot of people do, They're, people make them sound really good and like them, but I don't. So I put a set last night of um, Stringjoy 13s on it, but they are 80-20, so I want to try those. And then, of course, we'll try some other stuff. So I bought some other strings today, and I'll show you those in a minute. This thing stays in tune impeccably, just for sake of conversation. It's 43 degrees outside, and I don't care. So that's what they sound like. If you follow Instagram at Dylan Talks Tone, you'll probably see more playing on there. I'm gonna actually probably do some more playing now that I'm kind of inspired. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I bought four sets of strings to try. Instead of doing weeks and weeks and weeks, this is gonna all be compressed into, pro into this video. Um, just normal D'Addario 13 to 56s. I don't, those are just strings, they're, they're good. I used to use them on my Breedlove, but this is a completely different guitar, obviously. Um, these are the new Phosphor Bronze D'Addario XT uh, Extended Life ones. They're coated, but supposedly differently than Elixir, I don't know. I actually got another set of coated strings, the um, Ernie Ball Everlast. Apparently this is kind of a newer thing. And then the Earthwood Phosphor Bronze Mediums. I don't typically like these guitar, these strings, However, again, every guitar sounds a little different, and this one obviously has its own thing. So um, I'm gonna be open to trying whatever, except for Elixirs, because I took them off. If you heard these ones, I guess the next time you hear this guitar and see me, I might be wearing something different, because it'll probably be a different day, and it'll have a different set of strings on it, and you'll be able to hear them kind of back to back. That's the way we're gonna do this one, instead of weeks apart. Because this isn't for, I don't wanna say this isn't for you, but this is like more for me to like, figure out what strings I want to run on a guitar all the time. I kind of do this every time I get a new guitar because again, everyone is different. And I want, when I do a review, I want to have like a proper microphone, a proper setup and, and do it right. Cause this, this, this guitar deserves that. But I also want to share all the goofing around and testing that I do along the way to get to the point where we do that review. Okay, so these are the Ernie Ball Everlast strings. Uh, how's that song go? I don't wanna get copyright strike. Anyway, <laughs> Ernie Ball Everlast. Um, they're coated, they don't feel coated.
and I'm also experimenting with a microphone. This is the Rode, I honestly can't remember. And we're using an iPhone 11 Pro um, to shoot this. So I'm just experimenting around with some stuff. We're gonna do some videos about how to make better content for Instagram and YouTube and stuff with kind of low, lower budget things. So I wanted to try this microphone and this camera setup. I love these strings. I'm gonna play them for a couple of days and we'll see what happens, but I really like them. Conclusion so far is no on 8020s on it. Yes on phosphor bronze. That's gonna be my number one conclusion. Sounds fantastic. All right, so here is the same setup. iPhone with the little Rode mic. We'll put a link to it in the description. I really like this microphone. I've been using it on all my Instagram posts too. Um, these are the Diodario X strings. I really like them. Um, they feel a little bit coated, sort of elixir-y, um, but they're not terrible. Elixirs are way worse than this. Um, they sound really nice. They're nice and mellow. Um, they're phosphor bronze. I went all phosphor bronze. I think this guitar needs phosphor bronze. I think I already mentioned that, but anyway. Um, it's, it plays great. This, this set of strings I really like. So it's kind of weird for me because I don't actually like coated strings and I've liked two sets of coated strings that I've put on this guitar so far. Uh, feel wise, I will say these are a little bit higher tension feeling than the Ernie Balls. So that is a consideration. The Ernie Ball uh, Everlast strings uh, had a little bit lower tension. They were a little slinkier feeling just to put that out there, but they do. Today we've just got Diodarios. Okay, first impressions, super balanced sound. Um, after having three sets of tuner, uh, three sets of coated strings on this guitar, I definitely am noticing that these are grittier feeling, they're not as slick, but obviously that's, they're supposed to because they're not coated. They sound really balanced. They sound really good. Um, I think a guy could definitely get away with just putting regular Diodario 13s on his McPherson Sable and it sounds fantastic. It, it really does. Sounds amazing.
Okay, so these are the Ernie Ball Earthwood Phosphor Bronze. Um, they sound really good. I don't know what they sound like from where you're sitting. Uh, they, they sound really good. The thing I don't like about, and I've said this in my other videos before, and I know that this is a differing opinion from other people, but I don't like stringy sounding strings. I don't like it when, when you can hear the jangle of the string itself. I just want to hear a clean, when it sounds super metallic, I don't like that. These strings sound really, really good. I don't think they're gonna be what I put on the guitar in the end. So this is the last set. So I'm gonna go listen to all of them together and give you my thoughts. You put in the comments below what you think uh, are your favorite sets as you go went through and listened to them. And um, let me know what you think. And then we're gonna talk about this whole string test thing anyway. Testing guitar strings. Um, I did an acoustic string test blind a couple of years ago. We've done some electric guitar string tests blind where I didn't know what brands they were. Um, that was to kind of take the bias out of it. This time, it's obviously changing from a wood guitar to an all carbon fiber guitar. I wanted to see if my choice was gonna be different than what I enjoyed on my, my wood guitars. And the answer is absolutely yes. Um, and the reason I bring this up was because it's not just for wood to carbon fiber. Um, acoustic guitars especially are very, very, um, well, they all sound different. You know, the body shape, the body size, um, the kind of wood that they're made from, the neck construction, all that stuff. Um, on an acoustic guitar especially, it's, it's really a huge variable and your playing style. How you hold the guitar, where your hands are, is different for everybody. And so when I see posts in Facebook groups and on online and stuff about what strings should I put on my guitar and everybody chimes in and they say, these strings suck, these strings don't, um, <clears throat> that's kind of not fair. Even you or me just changing guitars, a different guitar, you might not have the same set of strings on every electric guitar you own. You might not have the same set of strings on every acoustic guitar that you own. If you take the time to play them for a couple of days and say and make some notes and say, okay, I like this, I don't like that, I do like this, I don't like that. And over time, you may narrow this down, but always be open to, especially when you're changing con building construction on an acoustic guitar, most definitely. Scale length is another thing. If you change your scale length, um, huge huge difference it can be so doing taking the time you know it cost me 50 bucks or whatever to buy a few sets of strings and try it um, but it's gonna give me a better result in the end I mean I got this beautiful guitar and it sounds amazing I want to make sure that I enjoy playing it so taking this extra time and work is really worth doing I encourage you to do that I'm gonna put everything that we used in the description of this video all the strings and everything I'm gonna put all that in the description of this video, and even if I tell you I don't like something, I think you should try it anyway, because your guitar is different. So, um, out of everything that we tried on this guitar, and you can go back through the video and watch it again if you want, I think I am going to probably go completely contrary to everything I've ever said in a long time, and I think I'm gonna probably put the Diodario X strings 13 to 56 on this guitar. If I don't do that, my next runner up for those would be the Ernie Ball. Um, Everlast. The Ernie Ball Everlast strings are fantastic. I might actually get a set of each of those and retry them again. Um, but I liked both of them. I don't know how long they last. I don't care how long strings last. I change strings. I enjoy changing strings. I like having fresh set on my guitar all the time. <clears throat> and I'm gonna be playing this guitar a lot. I've been playing it for hours and hours and hours and hours at a time. 
so I will be wearing out strings, I'm sure. But um, tone-wise, the Ernie Ball uh, Everlast and the Diadario X are my two favorites so far. I have not tried the String Joy uh, Phosphor Bronze, and I have not tried their new prototype coated strings yet because I don't have them. So I will get my hands on those and try those as well. But for now, I really think it's gonna be the Diadario X. They're just a tiny bit slick, but that feels kind of nice and fast actually. And I got really comfortable on them right away, which was really cool. And I think they're gonna last and they sound great. This guitar doesn't need any help being brighter. Um, and so these strings probably aren't the right ones for it in my opinion, but there you go. If you have any questions about strings, if you want to chat about strings, put it in the comments below. Also, make sure you check out our live video on Thursday. Um, it's new. There's going to be some new stuff this Thursday, and I think you're going to dig it. Um, got a guest. It's going to be awesome. Thanks for hanging out, you guys. Uh, make sure you check out Patreon. Make sure you check out the merch store at Dylan Talks Tone. Make sure you go buy some pickups, etc. We've got a bunch of video content coming this month. I'm already working on another thing. It's probably going to come out this week. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you soon.